No needles or pins here, please. This balloon sculpture of our Sunday morning sun is just one example of what we're calling pop art. And it turns out there are plenty more where it comes from, as Connor Knighton now shows us. Inside of a San Diego Sheridan, the dance floor is blowing up. A bunch of party animals have come together for one week to have some fun. No strings attached. As the pop music plays, pop is the one sound that could crush the dreams of these competitors. They've traveled from all across the globe to take part in the World Balloon Convention. Oh my gosh, the World Balloon Convention is our Oscars. It's our Academy Awards. That's the one where people go when they want to touch greatness. Yeah, I think we should heat seal the bottom of that, Billy. Connie Eidenmans is a balloon artist in Nashville, Tennessee. Should we do them lower? No, I like it higher. And if that sounds like a bizarre job to you, well, you would get along with Connie's parents. My family wasn't terribly supportive. They were like, you're going to do, you're going to be a clown. But the joke was on them. Balloon art is big business. High-end parties and corporate clients pay thousands of dollars for elaborate displays. Are you self-taught? I picked up a library book and a basketball pump in college. Most balloon artists start with the basics. A few quick twists and turns, and you've got a dog, or a hat, or a sword. For my first attempt, Connie taught me how to make a flower. There you go, and you've got a flower. I'm a flower! You just deflowered me. <laughs> so Scott and I were fooling around last night. I know it's hard to see. When I visited this Connie, a month before the competition, she was working on something much larger, something she couldn't do alone. Of course, this is the piece that we all agreed we were doing. She had recruited an elite squad of balloonatics from all across the country. And I looked for very specific talents. So um, I have- It sounds like something out of a heist movie where it's just like, <laughs> guys, this is Connie. I'm putting together a team. <laughs> when Connie's team finally came together in San Diego, they had 27 hours to assemble a large balloon sculpture from scratch. Whoa. Their competition? Countries from all over the world. The Italians, the Japanese, the Russians, who all spent thousands of dollars just to attend. Again, that is 27 hours straight. So unless you have 27 people, like Taiwan's team, there's not much time to rest. The event's million and a half balloons were free, provided by the Pioneer Balloon Company, run by Ted and Betty Vlamis, who are true believers in the art. You take a very simple product that doesn't look like anything, and then you add magic to it by either air or helium going into it, and all of a sudden it changes character. Eventually, the larger-than-life characters started to take shape. The Incredible Hulk, a massive wolf, a 15-foot-tall tiger, and the American team's entry. No, I think that's good. From The Little Mermaid, a giant Ursula the Sea Witch. And are you relieved at this point? Is all the work done? <laughs> oh yeah, I am. I'm happy to have had a good night's sleep after 27 hours. I hadn't stayed up that long since college. <laughs> <laughs> Once everything is inflated, it's up to judges like Sue Bowler. There are awards for best hat, best small figure, best fashion. So have they used balloons in a creative and an unusual way? Is what they're making technically difficult? Have they hidden their mechanics? <laughs> It's a friendly competition. The balloon world is small, and the convention, held every two years, is a chance to network and take classes together. So now you want to match that side to this side. But still, the U.S. has never placed at WBC in the large sculpture category, and so any award would be a big deal for the Americans. Now for the category everyone has been waiting for. When the big night finally arrived, the third place winner from the USA is Connie Eiden Mons. The squad was all smiles. The tiger from Taiwan won first place, and the Russians took second. But it's not going to fit on the plane back home. None of this will. Balloons are a temporary medium. 
the convention ends the way you knew it would. Three, two, one. With a mass popping. Everything that took years of planning is gone in a matter of minutes. And while it may be sad to watch, Connie says the experience of seeing the smiles makes it all worth it. It's joy in a package. And by sharing a little bit of joy in a balloon, um, that transcends language, that transcends race. And in fact, I tell people all the time, I'm so lucky, I'm like completely blessed because I have a job where I make somebody happy every single day. It doesn't get any better than that.